Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is a really quick video, just basically breaking down a, a current uh, YouTube video that's being a pre-roll a lot at the moment, which is to do with these guys. Battery banks. Wrong end. But yeah. You know, when you've got a device and it uses USB, you basically want to be able to charge it when you're on the go. You know. It's nice to be able to do that. And at the moment, there is a battery bank that is being advertised on YouTube, which is a combination of battery bank, wireless charger, and solar panel. Didn't we get over these in like 2012 with Kickstarter? I mean, for goodness sake. Um, but yeah, basically, it's claiming that the battery in this solar battery bank is 20,000 milliamps, which I can reasonably assume. It's the size of a bloody VHS cassette case. Uh, if you don't know what that one of those is, bam, there you go. VHS. Ask your parents. Mask. I feel like I'm doing nations. Anywho. Yeah, 20,000 milliamp battery ank. I can believe that inside something that's the size of the VHS cassette. While it's charging, I can believe that too. Because, um, you know, make that just a little bit wider. That's pretty reasonable. You will cut your charge times in half by using wireless charging. Um, this one. By the way, I'm not sponsored by this company at all. Um, so uh, don't... Just don't. I like them. They last long enough. But, you know, whilst charging, cut your charge times in half. Assuming that your phone charges about 2.1 amps on 5 volts. I know some phones can charge at 9 volts and can take higher amperage. But, you know... These are all IQ devices. That's just to cover over, like, if you find this, then contact me. Please do. And, you know, the big thing for me is the solar bit. Ooh, solar power. Because it's, it's selling to a idea of, well, you know, a bit of naivety. It's the... Hey, you've been hearing a lot about solar power, power now in um, infrastructure, you know, generating power. You know, countries are running off of green energy for an entire day, you know, and people want to get in on that, you know, because they love it. Sorry, I'm futzing about. It's the lanyard. But solar for mobile is a bit of a tricky one because, right... That looks pretty portable, yeah? Well, this is the size of it. Bam! It is it is huge. I mean, that's my hand. I've got quite big hands. That's a VHS cassette. That's a battery bank. That's a wireless charger. If you're putting a solar panel on a battery bank, you you're basically cutting yourself down to that much realistic real estate. You've got like a sixth of a panel. By the way, this thing charges about 21 watts, which back at the back of my head calculations means it's about 2.7 amps. So you can charge one phone quickly or you can charge two slowly. The little USB chargers in there, you don't think you can see in there. But yeah, the USB is in there. Seriously. Yeah, there you go. There it is. A little indicator light. And this thing is huge. And granted, this thing doesn't work anymore. I keep hold of it to be a demonstrator. So people can get a good idea of quite what solar power for mobile devices is. So, you know, battery banks, I think they're pretty neat. 
You can see how beat up this one is. And I keep it in its little uh, carry bag, but it does have cables living with it. This did go on me with me for a few camping trips. Problem is, it will. Tr you need to track the sun. So realistically, you need to prop it up on something, and absolutely ideal. Check every like 20, 30 minutes that it's pointing at the sun. In the brightest British sunlight, I was barely able to charge a soul uh, my mobile phone with this thing. Maybe if you're in the Mojave Desert and you need to make a call, this can save your life. Totally, under those circumstances, this is brilliant. Otherwise, just get a big battery bank. Get a big old battery bank. Charge it on the wall overnight. Oh, that's the other thing. That is the other thing about this advert, of which I'm not going to mention the company because it could be liable, but it says, like, it can charge in an hour. No. The USB standard basically stops that from happening. It might have a big old wall wart. I don't care. That's not very reasonable, you know, but charging over USB, ladies and gentlemen, that can only handle so much, and I know USB-C will be able to take more voltage. I don't care. Can't charge that in an hour. You can put a bit of charge in it, but at that point you might as well just have a big old wall wart. Which, you know, I do have handy. I can't actually pull it over, it's tied around something. But yeah, the advert, that's a pre-roll on YouTube, heavily implies that the solar panel, which by the way is probably smaller than this VHS cassette, can charge this in an hour. I'd love to see that in reality because that just means that I could be in an electric car with a solar roof and just drive all day on the sun. That is just patent wow. And go watch Mask.